guys! So this is Willow. She decided she wanted to say hi today. Okay, so I'm doing a haul today. I have a ridiculous amount of goodies that I've purchased in the past, I would say the past month. Um, so, and <clears throat> I have got them from Sephora, my local, um, let's see, it's a, it's called the makeup company, but it sells like Estee Lauder, MAC, um, Bumble and Bumble, Smashbox, Clinique, things like that, and I ordered from NYX. So, we'll just jump right in. I just got my NYX package today in the mail about like five minutes ago. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this to come in. Um, sorry if you can see a little, um, commotion going on over here. It's a lot of crap I got in my room. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, here's what you first see when you open the box. It came in this really cute little lace bag. It has a little NYX thing over here. I thought it was super cute. Um, I got two sets of three lipsticks, and then I got just a single lipstick. And, um, I haven't swatched any of these or opened the actual lipsticks. I just opened the box to make sure I got everything. So, here's what the boxes look like. And then here's my single. It looks really dark. I'm not sure about it, but we'll see. I thought both of these, good lord, I keep anything in my hands. Okay. So I thought these looked like really, really, really nice fall colors. So let's go ahead and swatch them and see. So this one's called, I think, Vancouver. Butterfingers today or something. Good lord. <sighs> okay. So. Out of the box. Okay, so they have a really nice, like, um, it's like, it's a matte black cap. Like, the packaging is so nice and it has kind of a, it's not a rubbery feeling, but a sort of rubbery feeling. Um, on the top has a sticker that says SMLC. 29. So I'm assuming that's just a shade color. And it's in Vancouver. It looks like a really deep purple. So I don't know how often you'll see me wearing this, but on the website it looked really, really pretty. It's a very vampy color. And you know what? These are the matte <clears throat> soft or the NYX soft matte lip creams. So I'm not exactly sure. They looked like really pretty colors and I've heard good things about them, but you know what? I'm the kind of girl that I'll only wear a lipstick that will like dry matte on me and it will stay. Like I can eat and drink and it is like solid. I won't I won't wear a lipstick that's going to rub off. So I'm not real sure about these. I may have just like wasted my money. But they look like pretty colors, and I'm going to try them out. So there's my first swatch. I really have no idea. Willow. I have no idea if you can see that or not. But um, it's just, it's a really, really, really deep purple. Kind of shows up burgundy. Not sure how it'll look on, but I suppose we'll see. Um... Here is the next set of three. Let's see, the colors are like this really pretty, like corally pink, um, a, like a mauvey purple, and like a true red. Which I have several true reds. I'm a red lipstick kind of girl when it comes to the dressing up kind of thing. Mm, see, it's not drying. I'm not gonna like these. We'll see. Okay, so do they not have a, the names on these? That's going to be really... Okay, they do. So this one is... I'm horrible with names, by the way. Antwerp. A-N-T-W-E-R-P. 
it's just like a really pretty corally pink. Um, so let's see. It's pretty. It's definitely, I don't think, a fall color. It's, it's more of a definite summer spring color. Um, I'm not really sure the name soft matte lip creams are true because it's not drying down matte in the slightest. It's definitely like a satin. I'm not real sure about these guys. Okay, so the next one that came in the set was, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try pronouncing this. T-O-U-L-O-U-S-E. No idea, but that's what it's called. So it's a purpley mauve. It's definitely a cool toned, more of a definite purpley gray mauve. Um, they're very thick, guys. Like, okay, so this one is very um, splotchy. It's not opaque at all. You have to definitely build this one up but I do kind of like this color. Um, so you can see where it's kind of splotchy right there. Not opaque in the slightest, but you know what? You can always build it up and you can always, I don't know, layer it on top of another color or mix it in with. Okay, so this next one is Barcelona. So... Let's see. It's a definite cherry red. Like, bright red. Um, and now it's it's like the other ones. It's a true, definite red, and it stuck to its color really well. So, um, it's definite, not splotchy. They seem like really good lipsticks. I just don't think they're going to be for me. Like, they're not drying matte at all. And they are not sticking in place. So I'm really kind of disappointed about that. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead. Well, I was going to take them off, but that's okay. Let's do the last box here. And... So this one is more of a deep shade close to that mauve, only it's more like a burgundy berry purple. It is called Budapest. I can't even see. It was half rubbed off. Um, okay. So this one's, they all, it sounds more like cupcakes. None of the other ones had a, had a scent at all. And this one is a total, like, vanilla cake. Oh, that one smells so good. Ooh, this one's so pretty. Okay, guys, so out of all of them so far, this is my definite favorite. Oh, so pretty. It's right there. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So, so pretty. Small disclaimer before I continue. I tend to use my middle finger to point a lot. I'm not really positive, but I am not in the slightest slipping anybody off using that finger for any indication other than, for some reason, I'm just a weirdo and like to point with that finger. I'll try to get better. Um, so my last two, this one's a more... Oh, I don't even know how to describe this one. It's not a Barbie pink. I would describe it more of a, I keep wanting to say a mauve pink, and the other ones were more mauve, but I, I just, this one's Ibiza, but it's, it's just a, a toned down kind of dull pink, but you know what, it's really actually kind of pretty. Just by the way, I'm not crazy about these applicators. They seem to have a more of a point or a high side on one, on this, and 
it's it's just a flat doe foot applicator and when you go to swatch it just like right there it leaves a line like so it kind of looks splotchy but this is a pretty color um, it's really similar to this one right here I I'm not in love with it but you know what it is really pretty and I do kind of like it so um, let's see our last color is Madrid and it's uh, like a a definite like brown burgundy red it's more on the brown side oh you know what it smells like cupcakes too um it's got a more purpley look and i would not have expected that due to the outside look but the wand looks really purpley and when you swatch it it does not look purple though i have a new favorite by the way guys this is a definite definite favorite I love this color. Love it, love it, love it. So there it is. And you know what? I think I might honestly be okay with wearing these just in, I don't know, I guess certain things. Like when we, when Jason, Jason's my fiance, when Jason and I go to um, like our ballroom dancing classes and things, we eat afterwards. But you know, we have a decent two hours beforehand and then at the class where I could wear these. So I think they're a definite thing that I like and then I'm going to give a decent try. So um, if you want to know what I think about these, give me a thumbs up and comment and tell me if you want to see a different, like a, a further review on them. Okay, so this video is going to be like a zillion years long. Sorry guys. So, that was all my Nicks that I got. So, we'll definitely have to see on those. Let me get a wipe here and wipe these off. Because I will get it all over my sweatshirt, guys. For sure. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice. This time of year, my allergies or something are just seriously getting me. Okay. So, my next products I got in this little bag from... The cosmetic store in Edinburgh. We have our, it's the Edinburgh outlets. It's the mall. And this cosmetic store, like I said, it, it sells uh, just um, a decent list. On one, like the, the back wall, they have all perfumes, men and women, on each side. Um, and then all down the middle and the other side, they start out right when you walk in the door and have Estee Lauder. And then they have... Um, I think they carry a new brand that I didn't know what they were, but they after they have those two sections right there by Estee Lauder, and then they go through MAC and Smashbox, and then the very back, there's Clinique, and they usually carry these makeup bags. Sometimes they're like little boxes, but they're makeup bags full of like three to five different products, and they usually come with either one full size or all um, deluxe size sample in this little travel bag or whatever um, of the makeup. So you can sample each um, brand of makeup, and which I think is really cool. I usually do that. I get, and that's what I actually did. So these are the two boxes that I got. One's Estee Lauder and one is Smashbox. So my Estee Lauder, I've tried both of these, but in Estee Lauder, I have already had this size, deluxe size sample, and I absolutely love it. That's why I had to repurchase this, because they did not have it in full size there that I found. They only had it in this little sample box. So a little bummed about that, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. So this was, it came with this little card. It says Three Minute Beauty. It tells about the concealer that I got, and then it also tells about my eye repair cream that I got. So, that was a really cool little addition to this package. And so this is actually really little for what you get, but I'm not complaining. So, it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer um, in 02 Light Medium. So, seems to be an okay color for me. Um, I tried it one time, so I can't give it a decent review. Now, it has a really, really, really chemical-y smell. I am not a fan of that, but 
it kind of, honestly, and I know this sounds really bad, but it kind of smells like paint. So, something to watch out for if you're really sensitive to smells, but the one thing is, you're going to kind of want, you've got to kind of put it under your eyes or spot conceal. You're not really doing it all over, so you may not smell it as much as you think, but it's a decent color for me. It's a little, um, oh no, Willow's eating, so if you hear that. Um, you know, I don't know. It's sort of a definite good shade for me. It's a little bit light, a little bit pink for me. But it's not bad. It really is not. Um, it seemed to work pretty decent. It's a thick, medium to full coverage concealer. So that was a plus. But usually, unless I break out with my acne around my chin, I usually don't have a lot that I need. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, a full coverage for and a full coverage seems to be heavy and thick and kind of uncomfortable to wear so I'm not a huge fan of the really thick concealers um, and so this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye and it's like a gel it's a really nice um, not real smell it's a really nice gel formula um, I just put it right under, like, where I'd have my the bags in my eyes. Hey, Willow. You're getting, like, really loud with the eating. Can you eat after? Can you eat after? Yeah. Okay. Um, you put this on. I put it on before bed. But you can honestly put it on sometimes even before you put your under eye concealer on or anything. So I really liked that. And it feels so nice. It sinks in so nicely. It was just a really good product. And um, uh, I really would like to repurchase it. It's not a cheap thing. It, it, it by itself, I think I looked online, it retailed for like $32 to $42, I'm not really sure. And it didn't come in that big of a container, if I remember right. This little package right here was $12. So it was a decent price for both of the things you got, and you can give it a decent try. Um, let's see. This right here, the concealer, was 0 0.06 fluid ounces, so not a whole lot in that. And, um, let's see, does it tell me? I don't know. Yes. 0.17 ounces. Is that? Yeah, 0.17 ounces. So, there's a decent, honestly, I used this every day for like three months. And it seemed to work. A little tiny bit works on both eyes. And I rub on my eyelids too. And it works really well for me. I tend to have sometimes like dry eyelids. I don't know why. But it seems to work really well for me. Um, I also got a Smashbox trial box. And um, I absolutely love what is in here. I got this... Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and I had a little sample size that I got from there as well, and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, it builds your first application. It's not really going to... It coats them, and you can see a difference, but you don't get those huge, big, full lashes. I think I love it, basically because I like to build my mascaras. I really don't know why, but I like to give it a couple decent coats, and I love the... Um, the brush head on it. It's not a plastic one. It's a definite fiber brush head. And the formula is not super liquidy. It doesn't tend to like bleed into my eyes. The only thing with this is it does flake. It does flake into my eyes a little bit, which sucks. But I really like the mascara. And the other two things it came with was this Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner, which in, in the shade Onyx, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I freaking love this stuff. There is just three little swipes on my hand. There's one. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty black. I just, I love it. It stays on my eye. It doesn't move once I have it on there. I really like it. Um... 
And then my last thing that I got in the box is a Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. So, I really like it because I have several concealers and they're both, or primers, excuse me, they are both, um, uh, like, what am I trying to say here? Uh, silicone feeling, kind of like, not hydrating. They just, you know that they're covering up their pores, and I, you know, I really like that. I really, really do like that. But this one is kind of has a silicone feel and it sinks in really fast but it's also like ridiculously hydrating. I don't know if you can kind of see it on my hand where it's shiny but it feels so nice and you can just feel it sink into the skin and you feel like you, you're you literally putting, you know, like giving your skin a drink. It just feels so nice, so nice on your hand, on your hand, on your face. Good lord. I have a mess today guys. A serious mess. So, um, that's all I got from the makeup, what was it called? Oh, the cosmetic store. Good lord. Okay, so I got like a ton from Sephora, this whole big box full of it. I only bought three actual products, and the rest I got were free samples, point perks, and, um... Oh, the, one the promo code or whatever. So, this first thing I got was this Brigio. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Brigio Don't, Re Don't Despair Repair Hair Therapy Kit. So, I tried this spray. I think it, I think I'm pretty positive it came in an Ipsy. If not, it came in one of these as like a point perk. Absolutely am ridiculously in love with this stuff. I use it all the time. It's hair milk is what it's called. It's called the Brigio... I have no idea. R-O-S-A-R-C-O. Rosarco milk. Reparative leave-in uh, conditioning spray. So... I love it. It has a really subtle, nice smell. Come out of the box. Um, it feels so nice. It doesn't leave any kind of oil, any kind of film, nothing on your hair. It just leaves it really silky. I usually spray it and I put it on my damp, my towel-dried towel hair, and I put it on the ends. I sometimes will put it, but I usually don't ever put product up here at my roots because it gets oily fast enough. Um, they did change the packaging a little from when I got it the first time. I can't keep a hold of anything today. What is my problem? So they did change the packaging a little bit. It was a clear bottle when I had first gotten it, but this time it is not a clear bottle and it is just the white plastic bottle. I liked it because I could see what was in it. It's a white, um, milky looking product. I usually will just take some and spray some in the palm of my hand and it looks like that and I will take it I even do it to dry hair sometimes it's feeling a little crisp and just kinda like rub it in the, my, the ends of my hair I have a lot of like dry ends right here by like my ear it obviously has to do with blow drying and straightening my hair I know no judgment <laughs> Um, but there's a lot of, like, dry ends, and I usually try to cut them, but, and you cut them too short, then you kind of look like a retard, so I'm not, not good at doing that. But I do really love this product. These are two of the products that came in this little set, and let's see, I believe this little set was, oh my gosh, does it not even say the prices? Huh! I swore it did. Oh well. So I don't know prices on these exactly, but I did get this. It's probably been. Does it have the date even? Yeah. Order date was 9 17 16. So I got it last month. Now that we're in October. Good lord. Um, so it may still be on their website. I would assume it might be, but it's a definite good way to try these products. I highly recommend this product right here. kind of smells like a really subtle suntan lotion, but it's like coconut. Oh, it smells delicious. 
Um, this one is just a little tiny gel to oil overnight repair treatment. So you would think it's just a ridiculous tiny amount, but it's a gel to oil. I have not tried it yet, but I would think, let's see, 0 0.33 ounces. So it's definitely not a ton of product, but I think you could get a really good um, trial use out of it, especially if you have shorter or thinner hair. Even if you have longer hair, just try it on your ends. See what you think about it. See the smell, the texture. I really, I haven't tried it yet, but I think I'll really like it. Um, I also got this deep conditioning mask. So, this is one ounce. So, like I said in my last video, I have ridiculously thick, frizzy, curly, wavy, heavy hair, and it's coarse feeling. It's, it's pretty unruly to take care of. I usually straighten it on a daily, whoopsie, um, just kind of right in here and on my underneath. It gets kind of wavy or frizzy during the night. So I do that as a routine in the morning. Um, so a product like this is probably not going to last me, but maybe even not even a full use because to coat my whole hair, it, this is not going to work in the slightest. But it says in the instructions, um, after shampooing, massage, don't despair repair into the hair from root to tip. Leave in five to ten minutes um, before rinsing. I don't think this will last me in the slightest. It looks like a really thick product, but I, it, I don't think it'll coat my whole hair at all. So, not as excited about this, and it, but it does have the same smell. It kind of reminds me of the beach. It has the same smell as the other products, but I really don't think it'll last me, but I think I could give it a good try. My hair usually responds to things like that. So, um, really really like that even I, I would have paid it just for that like I tried looking for just that and they didn't have the single product but they did have this not sure what that's about maybe it was just out of stock or something um but love that I got this Josie Moran um little set I thought it was so cute because I love cleansing oils I don't like the really uh kind of harsher. I have sensitive skin on my face and it seems to be combination to dry in the fall winter months and it seems combination to oily in the summer months. So not real sure but I usually like to have a good range of products for both. So this is the Josie Moran Argan Cleansing Oil. Um, it says, Nourishing Argan Oil Daily Cleansing for All Skin Types. So, I also have not tried this yet. I wanted to do a decent review before I tried any of these products, or, or I mean, a, a, a haul video. So, um, not sure if it has a smell at all. Ooh, it does. It has, like, an orange smell. So, it would be good for morning, like, to wake you up. And then it came with this little travel size package of, um, it's, it's the Josie Moran Bare Naked Wipes. So it has eight wipes in here. So I think it'd be a cute little thing to carry in your purse, carry in a travel bag, something like that. And I mean, when it comes to little sets like this, you're paying way more. You don't know if you're going to like this or not. So just like those lipsticks, I probably should not have bought seven of them in one sitting, but you know what? Sometimes you got to go for it. So... Um, this is going to last me a decent amount of time. So, I think for the price, which I don't know to tell you right this minute, but I think for the price, it was a decent 